Honestly, I was gonna put on a full face and like pretend like I'm perfect, but we all know that I'm not. And if you keep up with my videos, you know I'm a mess. So this is what you're gonna get, okay? G I'm Shanice Teresa and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome. So, um, I got a lot of shit here. Actually, no, not that much. But I do have quite a bit of items to show you today because when Black Friday came along and Cyber Monday came along, my credit card somehow fell in my wallet and, you know, just things happen. You might be thinking to yourself, well, Shanice, Black Friday was a long time ago. Cyber Monday was a long time ago. And my response is, I know. I've been waiting for a package for, since the day I bought it, which was obviously Black Friday, like duh. But a package wasn't coming in. Long story short, there was a message in my junk mail, my email that has been waiting since the day I ordered the stuff and I didn't know. So now we finally have the package and here we are filming my Cyber Monday and Black Friday haul, I guess. I don't know if I'm really gonna name it that because I don't know if people are gonna click on it because we're we'll late. You know, we're gonna try to make this a little quick. I say that every time and it's never that quick. For the first time, I'm gonna do a try on haul. I don't know why I'm gonna do this because I hate trying clothes on, but these clothes are cute and I wanna show you all the cute things I got because they're really cute. How many times can you say cute in a sentence? Anyways, let's get straight into this video. We're gonna start with like the smaller things and then go into obviously the clothing because everybody comes here for the clothing. First things first, I went to Bath and Body Works because who doesn't go to Bath and Body Works? Bath? Who doesn't go to Bath and Body Works when there's a sale? I wish I waited for the December 1st sale because I heard that it was lit. No pun intended. I bought a couple candles. Only one was for me, so I'm just gonna show you the one I got. This is the Blackberry Cherry Merlot Scented Candle. It is purple. It smells <sighs> so good. Um, recommend, I've already used it because, like I said, I wasn't waiting for all my packages to come in to show you guys the stuff before I used some of it. So this is one of the items I did use, and it smells Oh God. Next on our list is Key Australia. If you don't know what Key Australia is, I don't know what rock you're living under, I don't know what century you're in, I don't know what social media you are on, but um... It's the best sunglasses you'll ever buy. Anyways, these are the first pair. These are Hindsight. I'm pretty sure these are the Alyssa Violet collab, but I could be wrong. Don't take my word for it, but I love a good pair of sunnies. I wear sunnies all the time. I don't care if I'm wearing makeup, I'm not wearing makeup, if I'm wearing sweats or I'm like fancy, like I am wearing sunglasses. It's my favorite accessory. These are my favorite brand and I only wear them. So these are my new shades. So this is hindsight, like I said. When I wear these, I feel like people can't see me. Don't look at me, don't talk to me. Don't even like try because these glasses are telling you to back up and back up. So, aren't they cute? Oh my God, I just like feel myself. If you're not wearing makeup that day, put these on. It'll hide everything. If you just feel like a boss, put these on. If you feel like beating, no, we don't fight here. I don't condone fighting. So this was a two for one deal. And when I saw two for one, I was like, mm -hmm. yes. uh, oh. I just broke them. Um, these are the other pair that I bought. Obviously, everything I wear is black and white, as you'll see in the rest of this haul. And I only wear silver jewelry. My accessories have to be silver or black or somewhere like in between. I guess gray. I don't know. Anyways, these ones are called um, Jezebel. I don't know who that is, but it's another collab. And like, oh, just look at these. Like, I have a big head, as you can see, so when I buy sunglasses, they have to be oversized. And like, this style sunglasses are very hard because normally they come very small. And when I saw that these were oversized versions of the round sunglasses, well, I guess it's kind of like squared. I don't really know what I'm saying, but you know what I mean? Where like, these are usually a smaller version and somebody collabed and made them a larger version and I jumped on that. They're black and they have like a black smoked out lens frame. Frame, that's what I'm trying to say. 
It's either black or silver, I'm not too sure, but it's a black or silver frame, black shades, and so cute. And I'm so glad I got these two because let's just add it to the collection that I do not need, but look good in, so. Next is Sephora. Now, I kind of missed my chance on the whole 20% off Black Friday sale thing, but then I got a $20 coupon in a few days later, and I jumped on it because I was mad because I missed the 20% off by a day, and I was livid. So, I jumped on, and as you can see, my face is full of acne because I am a hot mess. I invested into this Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clearing Gel. It looks like this. I've started using it already because I want to get rid of this acne as soon as possible. So I just put it back in this box and pretended like I haven't used it, but I have. It's working really well. I put it on three times a day. It says three times a day, I think. You're supposed to start with one, but like, mm-mm. I'm about risking it, so I just did three times a day because I ain't waiting for So I put it on morning, I come home for lunch, I put it on, and then I put it on before I go to bed. And literally, I'll wake up in the morning wash my face put this stuff on and I'll walk out the door and I already see a difference I know that seems very very weird but like for someone who looks at her face all the time and tries to get rid of this acne like I notice any slight difference in my face and this works I'm going to do a whole video on an updated skincare because I've done one before and it's one of my highest videos so I want to do another one because I've changed my products but I got this on the Black Friday Cyber Monday 20% off $20 thing whatever and then I also picked up this Peter Thomas Roth mask kit so it has all these different masks in it. I've used all of them. My favorite one is this one. It burns like a though, but it actually does its job and I freaking love it. So this was like a $330 value kit and I bought it for $95. So, I mean, I love masks. I love any type of like girly type mask and like bubble. No, I don't like bubble baths. I definitely needed to get my hands on some expensive good masks. So when I saw this, I jumped on it and well, I have it and I've used them all. They're amazing. That's what I got. Okay, so the smaller items are now gone and now we're moving on to clothing. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm doing a try on haul because I just want to show you guys the greatest things. But please like and subscribe because try on hauls are exhausting and I'm doing this for you guys. So subscribe now, like this video now, and you know what, like maybe text one of your friends, share on your Twitter about like my videos and stuff because that would be nice because I'm doing so much for you. So do something for me. Okay, okay. We're gonna start with Foot Locker. Foot Locker is a place you get shoes and like clothes. So Duh. my first purchase was this Adidas jacket. It's a men's jacket. It's like a rain jacket, but when I saw it and it was 50% off, I said, I don't care. I'm getting it because I love it. So this is what it looks like. It has the Adidas on the back. It has a hood. And then on the front, it just has the little Adidas symbol. And it's literally just all black. I got this in, it's a large. It's huge, but it's honestly, I wear it all the time. It's for some reason in Canada, it's raining all the time and not snowing. So it's really honestly coming in handy. And I paid like $50 for it instead of like a hundred. So that's a steal to me. On Cyber Monday, I ordered stuff from Urban Outfitters. I don't often shop at Urban Outfitters only because a lot of the times when I order things from them, I, the sizes never come in right and I just, I don't know why. It's just Urban Outfitters that I can't find right sizes. Like, I think I got the right size, but they never come the right size. I don't know, it's always just that store. It's weird, I don't know why. So the first thing I got was this sweater, leopard print sweater. It has a zipper that goes up and down. And it's just like a loose fitted sweater. What really annoys me is the fact that on the site, when I was looking at this sweater in like stars or whatever, I was like, customers say this sweater size is small. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a size up because I don't want it to come in it to be small. Cause my intentions were for this to be like a cozy, cute sweater. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a size up because people are complaining that it comes small. Can you like, the sleeves are huge, like there's no elastic around the sleeves. It's bigger than I thought it was and I wish I got my right size. But like I said, I got this for comfort and not to like wear as a style item. So 
You know what I mean? So I don't really care. The next item I got from Urban Outfitters, I'm actually going to take these back and I'm really flipping mad about it. So I ordered the jacket that came with these pants first from the Adidas website, but like technically they're from my mom for Christmas, so I can't show you in this video. It'll be in my what I got for Christmas video. I wanted to get the matching pants to go with it. So this is the Adidas pants that I got with the jacket. Can't show you the jacket, like I said. They're just like skinny pants, Adidas pant things. Does that make sense? I don't know. But I was really nervous because they're like skinny pants and I was scared that like I got thicker thighs and I was scared that if I bought the size that my waist would have fit, um, it wouldn't fit my thighs. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance. Maybe they'll fit better if I size up. And I was wrong. These are too big. I think like the legs fit fine, but once it's like past my thigh and up, the waist is too big, the butt area is too big. It looks like I'm wearing like parachute pants and I hate it. So I'm gonna have to take these back and order a smaller size, which I'm really, really, really mad about because I've waited way too long and I should have ordered them a long time ago, but they better come before Christmas because I wanted to wear them then. Last but not least, I don't, every time I say that, I don't understand it. It's the last thing, but not least. I don't really understand that saying. Am I just like dumb? Like it's the last thing I'm showing you, but it's not the only thing I have. Like, it's last, but not least. Honestly, I have three brain cells and I don't understand why I can't understand this right now. I need to take a nap and I'm gonna take a fat one after this video. My next thing was misguided, which is why this video is delayed because this is the package that I was waiting for. <laughs> it had the most things in it, so I was getting very frustrated. But first things first, this is probably my favorite thing in the whole entire bag, but this is a black jean dress. It is so cute, long sleeves. Pair this with a cute pair of pantyhose and a thigh high boot and you're killing the game. It's very stretchy, it fits nice. Well, it's not very stretchy, but it's like a normal jean stretch to it. It's not like a stiff jean, it's going to fit nicely. It cinches the waist and it's super cute and it's like the perfect length. And like the detailing on it is white, the buttons are white and the stitching is white and I honestly when I pulled this out of the bag I almost fainted because it was so cute the second one I received all this stuff is inside out she needs to prepare yourself come like like honestly Anyways, this sweater reminds me of Cruella DeVille. Um, if you don't know Dalmatians, she's like the evil person in the movie Dalmatians. If you haven't seen it, watch it now, because it's looking amazing. If you haven't caught on to what I've been saying this whole time, I only wear black and white, as I'm wearing a cheetah shirt. She needs, you're an idiot. But anyways, most of the time I only wear black and white, so I thought this was super cute because it's black and white, like it's half and half, and it's like a turtleneck. It's so cute. It's not like a soft wool, it's kind of like a cheaper wool, but like it's not like itchy, it's not uncomfortable, it's so cute. It's cropped, long sleeves, the sleeves are black, and I just thought it was adorable because it just like split right down the middle, and like how cute. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This dress was in a size medium. And this sweater is a size small medium. This sweater is, honestly, it's fine, but I could, if I really wanted to go up a size, they're like small mediums or medium larges, and I feel like the medium larges would have been too big. So I'm happy with this one, I'm not complaining, but this is like an off the shoulder black cropped wool sweater and the sleeves at the wrist it like singes and it's kind of like a I don't know like what do you want to call this like a bell bottomy type sleeve but then it's I don't know I'm I'm not a girl but yeah this is like a black cropped wool sweater thing end of story next I got this simple it's basically just like this leopard print crop sweater that I'm wearing but this one is just all white this is in a size six it's actually kind of big, but it works. Literally just a black cropped sweater, simple. The zipper goes up and down. I hate with every part of my body when people wear jewelry or accessories that don't match. I hate when people wear silver and gold together or like brass and silk, like I hate that. Like it has to be all the same. And when I was ordering this, it looked like the zipper was silver and it's come in and it's like a brassy gold, fake gold type color and I hate that. It's still cute, I'll still wear it, I'll make it work, I'll hate myself while I wear it, but it's still super cute, so I'm going to enjoy it. The last thing I got, which was probably the first thing in my basket, if you can relate, if you do YouTube and you do like makeup videos or like get ready with me's or skincares, whatever, like you always wanna wear something comfy and something you don't wanna destroy because makeup ruins everything, blah, blah, blah. And like I was tired of like trying to find like something to wear and hope that I didn't ruin 
ruin it. When I went on Misguided, like the first thing that popped up was this robe and I died because it was black and the writing on the back is silver. It says Barbie on the back and it's just like this silky robe, long sleeve, super cute. And like, I wanna wear this when I like get ready in the mornings or like after I get out of the shower, when I do like makeup videos, like it's just convenient and it's really cute and I love it and it says Barbie on the back. Bottom line, I'm just gonna be wearing these in like my get ready with me videos because it's just like easy to put on. It's a little small, but like I can't complain. It's also a medium, oh no, no, it's a size eight. Just a little tiny bit small around the butt area down there so like I don't really care like no one's gonna see my kuka anyways you only see the top half of me so it doesn't really matter that it doesn't fit down there because you can't see my bottom half of my body you only see the top half so it works I think that is it I feel like I'm missing something because when all these packages start coming in I started using them and I feel like I'm forgetting something but it is what it is maybe misguided should have hurried up and come in the mail so I wouldn't have panicked and forgotten something but I think we're good I think I have everything I will link maybe everything down below if i have the energy and patience to do that and yeah i hope you enjoyed this black friday and cyber monday haul i don't know what i'm gonna call this I, obviously you clicked on this video so it was a clickbaitable title i don't know anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like this video and subscribe click that little notification bell so you don't miss a post from me because you won't regret it and i will see you later oh and i will link all my vlogmases down below i am doing vlogmas kind of not really but i have done a couple so make sure you check those out and i will see you next time bye queens yes queen yeah. Stupid tag off.